Uh, my name is Francesco Fazio, I'm the developer of uh, PS3 Games Manager and uh, I'm making this video to explain, uh, um, to tell about the newer version that is the 0.42a and uh, this version is going to be special, it's going to be released and in the future it's going to be the same actually it's going to be released as an um, um, OVA appliance for, um, for VirtualBox and um, it's already completely configured and all the necessary application are there so the final user um, will find himself very very easy um, to use it so it's finally uh, available for uh, all those people that don't have Linux skills and um, are using Windows or are using a Mac Okay, the first, um, the first step to do is to download VirtualBox. So we go on VirtualBox.org and we download VirtualBox for Windows. Now we open the setup file of VirtualBox um, we click on next we click again on next yes and install it's gonna take approximately a couple of minutes on an average speed PC okay now the install of VirtualBox is completed and we can start the application itself as you can see this is the Oracle VM VirtualBox manager that is available for almost any any platform so it's available for PC, it's available for Linux, it's available for Mac. The second step um, is to download the OVA file and in order to do this we go on ps3demo.fazionet.com we click on download and as you can see there is a link a direct link to the um, Google Drive storage and we're gonna download the OVA that actually now arrives at the version 0.42a the download is completed, the file is around approximately 188 megabytes and it's a pretty fast download from Google Drive so once it is downloaded we open uh, the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and we proceed to import appliance in my case the download is here in my download folder I click next so the amount of memory um, that the appliance is gonna take is 700 megabytes that's really really low um, at this stage we need to do some uh, um, settings to configure some settings very very easy so we need of course to reinitialize the MAC address of all the network cards this I strongly suggest and to uh, disable the USB controller this is because um, this appliance was initially uh, running on VirtualBox on Linux and there are some incompatibility if you configure the USB controller so we click import the import is completed uh, it takes really on an average normal PC it's gonna take 3-4 minutes to be imported ok now um, we have to click on settings disable um, the remote display this is because uh, as it is written here um, the Oracle uh, uh, VirtualBox extension pack 
it's needed and well you can install it and then uh, you can use the remote display but in this case for this demonstration we are going to disable it now um, clicking on ok confirming the settings and i just click start to start the virtual machine The virtual machine is starting, as you can see, booting up. And now we are at, um, at the login. So the username to login is root, and the password is PS3 Manager with a dash written like this PS3 Manager. Okay, so um, the appliance got the uh, IP address from um, the DHCP and the actual IP address now is 192.168.1.105 What we're going to do is SSH to the, mm, to the VirtualBox machine simply copying this IP address and click on open. So I repeat the login root ps3 dash manager. Okay, so um, the appliance comes with a very, very, very easy um, setup script. So the user doesn't really need uh, to issue any command on the command line, no configuration file to edit. So to start the setup, we click on, uh, we just write PS3 setup. Okay, it's asking uh, if we uh, want to reconfigure uh, PS3 Games Manager. It comes with the default settings, so absolutely no settings. It gets the only things that are uh, um, configured right now are the IP address, the gateway, and the DNS that the appliance got uh, via the DHCP of the network. So these are actually um, the network configuration data of the machine. So do you want to uh, change uh, the network settings in this case? No. The second step is asking us to specify which is the IP address of our PlayStation 3. And in my case, it's 192.168.1.40. The script connects to the PlayStation and checks if Webman is actually running and confirms uh, the data that we put. Okay, so now um, the script is actually asking us to configure the network share in which there are our um, game backups ISOs file. And uh, so I have prepared uh, for this demonstration um, a file, uh, a directory called ISOS test. Uh, inside that there is a typical structure uh, that is required by PS3 net SRV. As you can see this is the typical one. And uh, so we are gonna mm, share the root, uh, in this case the folder itself, ISOS test, we go on sharing, share this is my user done so you can see that the share is slash slash desktop isos test close okay so um, the IP address of uh, the machine that I'm using uh, it's the following so I type win for windows and the IP address is 192.168 
141 of course these are the settings for my um, for my network username the uh, share name the share name in our case it's is ISOS test I have a domain so um, I added this option in case someone needs like me to share a folder um, on a Windows domain but if you don't have a domain just simply type no and the script is gonna skip it my domain is this okay so I uh, hit yes I type yes to configure uh, to um, confirm the, uh, the detail and the script automatically uh, detects uh, the game's uh, ISOS folder it detects that it's mounted successfully that it has uh, read write permissions that are actually needed uh, by PS3 Games Manager uh, when it recognizes the ISOS files and downloads the automatically the cover image because the images uh, of the covers are stored in the same directory in this way because it's the same structure of the used by webman and by multiman you will find the covers on the ps3 also uh, the following question um, is regarding uh, um, the external usb drive configuration so if we have an external USB drive uh, for the game data we will enable it, in my case I have it, so I uh, specify yes and the configuration is completed as you can see, very easy and uh, it says uh, just to simply go on your browser to this uh, web address and you will have your installation so um, another step that we have to do uh, this was present even in the previous versions, versions of, uh, um, of PS3 Games Manager it's this script PS3 Services uh, it's actually very easy to use um, start, stop and status are the options, the parameters that you can issue and uh, in uh, this case because we just started we start uh, the services and the services are um, um, actually to check um, in real time um, the data uh, the hardware data of the playstation the time we are playing game uh, the temperature of the cpu uh, the amount of uh, uh, free storage on the external usb drive on the internal storage of the ps3 uh, you will see later and uh, if I check on status the script detects uh, that the services are correctly running and uh, gives the uh, process ID um, in this version on the OVA the script also starts the PS3 net SRV application so we don't have to bother um, launching it manually and configuring it it's already there so on the webman then uh, we will go to configure this IP address in uh, the setup section I will show you how so we just simply um, go on the web address and our uh, um, appliance, our PS3 games manager is already up and running we go on the web address as you will see um, it already recognized the four ISOs uh, files that were in the folder that we shared from the Windows machine and uh, um, it, download, it downloaded the covers automatically and the description, the score from Metacritic, the category, the developer, the publisher, the release date if I click on description I will have uh, um, a pop up with the description of the game so now we check uh, the status and the PS3 games manager detects that 
the PlayStation is online and it has an uptime of 40 minutes it's running uh, um, the firmware version uh, 4.80 Chex Cobra 7.3 and actually uh, checks the webman version uh, that is running this is in the case in this case is the latest uh, just released by Aldo tools so um, we are using the version 1.43.35 the CPU temp it's 73 degrees the free amount of memory the space on the internal drive the space free on the USB drive the total number of games and the last time it has been checked and uh, basically this is it so in 10-15 um, minutes we have um, all the PS3 games manager up and running and totally um, totally automatic and independent thank you for watching